Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is review number 40. I'm going to be continuing with my reviews of 12 year old whiskies. So today it's going to be the Kalila 12 year old. This is a small 200ml bottle that I picked up. I think I briefly mentioned it in one of my last videos. So, take that off. Little, little cork. So, Kalila, it's an Isla whiskey. Um, Kalila is located at Port Askig which is just to the south of Bunaharbin, in the north of Isla. It's owned by Diageo. So, um, of course, Diageo own Lagabolin, which is also on Isla. So, it's bottled at 43% ABV. It is chill filtered. It has added color. It has a value score based on the fact that it's 12 year old, chill filtered, um, E150 color, uh, sorry if I might have said natural color, it has E150 added color um, and has an average retail price of £43.95. It has a value score of 86.34. So that's held by that ABV of 43%. Um, what more can we say about Kalila? Um, it's believed that it has a peat level of 35 parts per million. Now, to put that into context, um, Lafroig 10 has a uh, peat of just over 40 parts per million. And the recent um, Glen Scotia 2020 Malt Festival edition, the um, Tony Port, that has a part per million of just under 40. So this is just a little bit less than the Glen Scotia um, and a bit less than the Lafroig. So it's classed as being light peat smoke but um, with that kind of a part per million I think it probably would be a bit more than that. So it is classed as an intermediate uh, whiskey because of its peat for people who are new beginners to whiskey. Uh, del delving straight into some heavy peaty whiskies um, whilst it's possible it tends to be um, something that you gradually get get used to. Okay, so on the nose. So you're getting that um, smoke, the peat on the nose. It's not as heady as Lafroig. It's there. It's a fruitier nose. It's got a little bit of salt. It's um, it's an Isla nose, yeah. It's, it's 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 got that distinct Isla nose to it. It's not TCP as such. I'm trying to say what that peat is. It's um, probably damp. Damp campfire embers. It's kind of dampened down the uh, the ph phenolic aspects of it a bit. On the palate, it started perfumed. When I took the dram, it was quite a fragrant perfume. Um, and then sweet and then that smoke runs straight through it the alcohol actually builds and it lingers quite a while that smoke it's got citrus it's oily It's, it's almost potpourri, that kind of a fragrance that you're getting from it. That um, floral fragrance, it actually is on the palate as well. That is actually a wonderful dram, absolutely lovely. I mean, the fact that the peat 
doesn't quite match. I won't use the spoon. The peat doesn't match um, Lefroy, it doesn't really matter. It's um, not, not as intense, but that allows for that lovely sweet um, citric, honey, purpuri um, character to come through. It's lovely. There's some tropical fruit going on there. I must admit, I've not experienced many fruits in terms of the tropical variety, so I tend to go straight with things like uh, mango or pineapple, but it's neither of those. It's more of a bitter, a bitter fruit, not a juicy fruit. It's lovely. It's well worth um, doing a comparison against the other Islas because it definitely holds its own. Hmm. And there's malt. There's malt there. And there's vanilla. And there's a bit of bitterness on the finish. In terms of what cask. Um, I wasn't able to find out what cask they use, but I'm going to say that it's going to be a bourbon, next bourbon cask. Yeah. I'd be highly surprised if that's got any other cask than a, um, a vanilla um, that you would get from the, the ex bourbon. I'm going to give it an 88 as an overall score. I think it's just as good as Lefroig. Um, without head, that heady peat uh, overwhelming the character, which makes me think that the um, Lefroig 10 cask strength is going to be something to, to behold really in terms of peat. But this is lovely, 88 out of 100. Um, would I buy that as a full bottle? I damn right would, it is lovely. So it's definitely worth going for if, you're, um, if you like your, your, uh, your smoky whiskies. Be good to do a bit of a, um, a head to head shoot off between um, this and Lefroig, maybe Talisker, Ardbeg, of course. Yeah, it's wonderful. If you haven't subscribed to my um, channel, please do if you could help. And if you haven't registered on my website, I've changed the plan. Um, I've, I was offering a subscription level on my website. Uh, I was doing a seven day, which was going to be free uh, to trial it. And then I was going to do a 30 day when I was offering that for free as well. For the first, first sign up, I did a three month and a year plan. I've had a total change of heart. Um, some news I got last week, which was a bit upsetting, uh, made us reevaluate things. And I decided to, to drop the subscriptions. So now you can register for uh, an entire year for free on the website. That gives you access to the forum, which is now live on the website but you have to be registered to access that. And it gives access to the advanced filters that allow you to uh, quickly sort through the whiskies that I've listed so far on the site that you can search on all the various characteristics. Um, but I've also offered on there um, a year's um, subscription, which you can offer, offer to donate 20 pounds. And that 20 pounds is going to help me keep the site running and pay for the admin costs of it. It's also, I'm going to be throwing um, some money that I get from the the donations to charity. So I'll be advertising um, various charities that I, um, I'll be handing money to once I start getting registrations. I'll be doing as part of the £20 donation as a thank you. Um, I'll be at some point in the future, once this isolation business has stopped, I'll be um, putting a list of various drams up so you can choose. There's gonna be a limited number of various drams. You can choose which dram you want and I'll post you a dram off at no extra cost and I'll be running monthly um, prizes of different whiskies. So for those people who subscribe to the donation page, you're automatically entered in to win a bottle of whiskey. So more information will come later. It's, um, it's something that's gonna be building up shortly. I've got plenty of unopened bottles of whiskies that I want to give away. So um, 
yeah, if you could do me the honor and register at the website. Um, I'm adding new features and I've got new plans all the time. Um, hopefully it'll be something that you'll be interested in doing. Cheers now.